Do you want to shut your mouth, you ball-headed little b That'll have to be bleeped as well. Tensions are high. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a brand new video and the final episode of the first season is here and can we make the playoffs? I say the final episode, I hope it's not. This is where it stands then, there are three games left, we're going to get all three games in one episode, a big bumper episode for you. We aren't going into it in the best of form actually, we'd recovered for a, a long while but now we're sat in 10th position. Two points off the playoffs, three games, a lot could happen, a lot could change. But we are the general outsiders. I mean, so a Newport, I guess, in 11th. Why are we in 10th? Because after that really good couple of months, we've started April with two losses. A 2-1 loss to Cambridge and a 1-0 loss away to Plymouth. Uh, sorry, at home to Plymouth, which is just even more disappointing. So we really need to bounce back. Grimsby, Colchester and Bradford... I'm just going to point out Grimsby, Colchester, Bradford. This ain't going to be easy. But you know what? Let's have some drama. I've got to be honest, this man's been incredible. Incredible. 28 league goals in 37 appearances. 31 goals in all competitions. It's his best season of his career by a long, long way. Average rating of 7.44. We might struggle to keep hold of him in, in the summer if we don't go up. So we need to get a result here. Grimsby then. They've got Jan Dander on the left wing. who's on loan from Swansea. He's quite good. Well, actually very good. And 7.34 average rating. He's been doing bits, but he's not been doing a, a load of things. He'll probably score loads today. They've got Mampala up front. 19-year-old Congolese striker from Everton. He's not bad. He's not bad at all, really, is he? Uh, not really scoring goals, so he'll score today. If we lose this game, I think the playoffs' hopes are already over. Just putting that out there. It's a free kick to Grimsby. Ring over it. It's tipped wide by Roberts. Let's not. Other scores to keep an eye on, then, are really... I mean, Grimsby are playing us now. Forest Green must be winning. They are. They're beating Newport, which is the other one. And Crew are in there as well. Carlisle as well, not far off. So there's lots of teams to keep an eye on today. Come on, boys. Right, first highlight for the Saddlers, then. Gavea into Zambarek. Gavea again. Can he find a cross? He's found the deep-line playmaker, Rory Holden, now into us. Caelan Lavery's at the post! Oh, Kalen. Here's Hewitt now for Grimsby. Blocked and cleared. And there's a pass on over the top here for Kalen Lavery if we can find it. Holden, I mean, he switched it. It was a bizarre one. McDonald's now giving it away. And all of a sudden, Grimsby fly forward. Jan Dander, the man I picked out from Swansea, in towards right. And that may be the final blow. I hate to say it, but I think Max Wright may have just finished our season early there. There's a highlight after the goal, though. We've dropped back down to 10th. It's a game we really need to be winning. Roberts over the top. Hewitt's got to defend it. And does enough. Clifton into Hessenthaler. And Grimsby is luckily looking to play their football. Mampala in behind. On loan from Everton. Mampala hits the side netting. Oh, dear. And now Danda. M Mampala's got away from Kelleher. Oh, it's a brilliant sliding tackle from Kelleher, that is. To keep it alive. And now Facey with a clearance. It's just Bombing back at us. Bombing back at us. Danda to Clifton. He's got to get there, Gavea. He hasn't. Wright's kept it in. It's Stewart to find a cross, maybe. Gavea's in there. He's not got there. Clifton to Danda, who's got to be onside because there's Gavea playing him on. When I hit record, I really hoped that form would change. It doesn't seem to be going that way. I'm not going to say we've bottled it because we were still underdogs no matter what, but we've, well... We've we'd worked ourselves into such a good position and we've literally thrown it away. We'll still make the tactical changes. It's going to be a remarkable comeback to get into the playoffs from here, I'll tell you now. I'm going to get Liam Kinsella on for Daddy Guthrie and just swap those two around um, and see if Zambarek can have a little bit, bit more time on the ball and a, a bit of a chance to get control of this. Their midfield is playing very well and so are they. Can Liam Roberts find a kick? The right kick. 
It's towards Holden. He's flicked it onto Kinsella. Here we go, boys. That's not a bad ball from Holden. McDonald, you got someone with you? Oh, Wes. Oh, Wes, what have you done? What have you done there? Kelleher, don't bring him down. Jan Dander to finish it. Good save by Liam Roberts. I don't think these latest scores even matter anymore. Is this a yellow card train? What is this? Pollock, Oman, Ring, Hessenthaler, Clifton, all being booked. Are they like, are they like, I've got a betting ring going on between them. Well then, I mean, other results went in our favour to a point. Carlisle were beaten by Scunthorpe in the end of it. Uh, who else is around there? Uh, crew were beaten as well. Uh, who else? Newport lost. Yes to Forest Green, but the loss to Grimsby's killed us. Absolutely killed us. I just thought something was going to happen. I just thought a, a madness was coming. And now we play fourth and third in the league who are fighting for these automatic promotion places between them. We had have a massive say on this automatic promotion race, by the way. Screw the playoffs, right? Look, I'm past it now. Fine. Let's ruin. Let's ruin this automatic playoff race. Who do we want? Is it Colchester or is it Bradford? That's the question. I mean, it kind of sounds like I'm going to throw it for one of them. If the FA is asking, like, this ain't happening, don't worry about it. You ain't heard anything. Right, we've lost three on a bounce. I think changes need to be made, if I'm if I'm really honest here. I think I think we give some, some guys a chance now to prove if they should be here next year. Because we ain't got really much to play for now. Um, and I think we need to give some guys a chance. Obviously, like, Gribben um, and Liver will play, because they're our two best players. And they have to play and that's that's the truth of the matter uh, inside forward um, but yeah I think we give some guys a chance the likes of Alfie Bates in midfield get in get in there mate go three out Zambarek's playing because Zambarek's pretty good um, who else Zach Jules you can have a start Cameron Norman you can have a start uh, James Clark you can have a start Cameron Cockrell Molly get in there mate you can play Actually, Gavea's on a loan deal, so he's probably worth keeping. I know so's Holden, but I ain't bringing him back next year. Just saying. Um, who else? We're going to keep Lavery on because he's amazing. Uh, Mitch Pinnock wants to play. Go on then, mate. Why not? Why not at this point? Gribben and Levitt are the men to, to really keep an eye on as our front forward positions. I mean, Levitt is very good. I would like to sign him. I am just saying that now. How long is he on loan for? I think it's just till the end of the summer. It is. I'm putting this out there now. I would love to sign you back. I'm telling you now. End of next season. Can I do that now? I mean, they're okay with it. Hello. Levitt. Gribben. Can we do the same for you at Sheffield United? So his contract runs out then. I mean, hello. Oh, oh. No wage. Mate, come back to me, Callum, for another year. Zambarek, you're next. Because I think they've improved us so much. End of next it. No wage. Holy crap. The boys are back in town. Gavea, is Gavea worth keeping? I haven't been impressed with him. I've got to be honest. I haven't been impressed with him. I don't really care. He's played for Real Madrid. He was at Real Madrid. I never even noticed that in the first place. Come back. Come back to me. Come back to me. And there's a spine for next season. Five players, four players who are just going to be amazing for us. They're all playing today. Whoa. You can't have him in League 2. No wonder they're up there. What's he doing in League 2? How much money is he on? They're paying him 1.1. 1.1. 1.1. He's accepted 1.1. They've got Frank Newble as well from West Ham. He's not turned out to be the player they thought he would, did he? So the thing to take note of, let's put this on latest scores. So who are Bradford playing? Bradford are playing Northampton. Oh, Bradford are going to win that. So Colchester have got to beat us. Bradford are already winning. Sorry, Colchester. Well, maybe, maybe it is Bradford then. Maybe Bradford's the team we want. To finish in that position. McCormack's took a knock. The players heard me. Who heard me talking absolute crap about him in the dressing room. Like, oh, the boss don't like him, you know. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, I've got this. And I overwent Clark and just went, You're right, mate. Bump. Bump. He had him. I don't know if my camera went weird then. <laughs> it went really weird.
63% McCormack's contact. Get him off. Get him off. Protect the player. Protect him, mate. You you don't want to do that to your player. You need him for the big game at the end of the season. Yeah? And the playoffs, you know, you'll need him for there. If you get, oh, wait, you want, yeah, you do, don't you? They have to win today, really. Here's Zach Jules. Gavea. So people to keep an eye on, really, are the people like Jules and that, who may not be here next year unless they perform well in these couple of games. Gribben's not done great there. And Senor, can Jules get there? He can't. Norris to Poku. Away from Norman, another man who's in danger. Poku to Liam Roberts. Grateful hands. Crawley have run away with the league, by the way. 91 points. Fair play to them. Fair play to them. Remember when they had Harry Kuehl? Poku. He sounds like a Pokemon. Comley's in. Roberts makes a save. We haven't had a highlight yet, and that kind of worries me. Another one going their way. Gavea. Uh, Gavea. I was about to. Get... Yes, mate. Keep going. Keep going, Gavea. Real Madrid. Real Madrid quality. It's into Norris. Oh, my God. That was close. Healthy Bates having a solid game. 6.7 now. 6.8 type thing. Not amazing, but solid. Norman's cross. It'll be Alfie Bates. Yes! Oh, my boy, Alfie Bates. Brilliant. I talked him up. It's his third goal of the season. I think it needs to be starting. Danny Guthrie out. Alfie Bates in next year. I tell you now, what a control. And the deadliest of finishes. He's been taking lessons. Cam Cameron Lavery, I nearly said there. Caelan Lavery and Alfie Bates have been together shooting practice afterwards. It's worked. Mitch Pinnock's in over the top. Find the cross. Not quite. Still Pinnock. Gribben! Oh, Callum. I think this is worse because if we're winning, if we're winning against fourth place, but we couldn't beat... Oh, it is worse. It keeps it alive if we hold on to this. It keeps it alive. Zambarek's made a mistake, though. Harriet's getting right in. Go on, Ainsley. What am I saying go on for? What I want to win. If the FA are asking questions, just tell them to be quiet. It doesn't matter. Pinnock's cross. Oh, oh, he's gone all the way through. I was waiting for a penalty there. Levitt's cross in. Clark to hit. Bates. Levitt is still alive. Zambarek. Someone, someone shoot. Shoot. Levitt. Zambarek. Shoot. Oh, Gherkin sticked it over. We've been really good in this second half. We're still in 10th. We're still two points off. It's going to be a mad last game if it ends like this. Headed away. It's, it's a corner. It's over. And we, of course, play Bradford. We've got nothing to play for now. Because we've done them a favour. We've beaten Colchester if this ends like this. We've done them a favour. And they're promoted. They're done. So they should be like, oh, thanks for that, guys. You know what? You want three points. Here you go. You can have it. I don't think they will. The time is ticking away. We are going to beat Colchester. Colchester are done. They're done. Put it, put put the... um. They're sticking it like it's a burger and it's all held together. Because, But they haven't held together today. They've fallen apart and promotions disappeared for them. We've ruined their promotion chances. They'll hate us forever. They'll hate us forever. So we kind of... Well, I mean, hang on, hang on. If we win our next game and Crew, Forest Green and Grimsby all lose, we make the playoffs. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that, right? So it's on. It's on. And if we do, and I'm just putting this out there, the way the playoffs work, I'm pretty sure if we finish seventh, we play Colchester in the playoffs. It's scripted. Football manager does some funny things. Really special, lads. I am very happy with that. So the real question, as I hold my tea with, with a pug's face on it, cheers, um, the real question is, what are the next few games? What is the final game of the season for everyone? So who do we say? Do we say Carlisle? I can't remember what we said now. Uh, uh, Grimsby. No, actually, no, Carlisle as well, to be fair. Carlisle, Grimsby, Forest Green and Crew. There's two places up for... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Colchester could screw us. Colchester could come back to haunt us here. They have to beat Forest Green. Carlisle plays Stevenage, who is second. Oh, Crew. Cambridge, a mid-table clash there. Uh, take it. Who, who else do we say? Grimsby, where are they? Oldham 18th, that's the killer. That could be the, the death nail. But you know what? Funnier things have happened. Funnier things have happened. We're back to a winning way. And Crawley have won the league, fine. Gavea could do the rest. We've got one game left, mate. Bates was brilliant. Popped back in, got himself a goal. Well done, mate. 
Really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. These guys are coming back. It's all coming up, Kyle. It's possible. I'm believing. That's what makes it worse. I actually believe. It sucks you in. I've, I've passed an objective a year ahead of schedule. I mean, I'm not going to say get, get the statues out, boys, but, you know, I'm getting there. It really is what this game does to you, though, because I went into this thinking it's possible, it's doable. And then we were beaten. Grimsby stuffed us, and we are like, right, it's done, it's over. I was, I was happy, it was, I was accepted it, you know? Another year in League Two, a, a chance for us to really push for an automatic promotion pace, place with some good transfers. But now, all of a sudden, it's on again. It's possible. And maybe, just maybe, we can do it. And if I'm honest, Financially, let me look at the finances. We kind of need promotion. That doesn't look good. We've got to pass F FP, but I don't know how. So I came in then. It was steady for a while. And then what the hell happened here? I mean, we are spending under the wage budget. I, you know, I'm doing everything I can. Zamborek and Gribben are confirmed for another year. Dylan Levitz, you better damn sign. I tell you now, Gavea confirmed for another year. How do people feel about it? So a B minus for that, good regular starter. The happy with Gribben and Gavea. We ain't got that yet. Can we? Can we do that? Levitating, 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 levitating. It's, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. A minus, A, A minus. As far as they're concerned, he's the best player in the team. As far as I'm concerned, he's the best player in the team as well. Oh, sorry, Kalen. King Kalen. No, no, King Kalen. I ain't half waffled on in this episode, have I? Talked a lot of i would have to bleep that. Former Warsaw manager Richard Money has singled out Kalen Lavery for criticism, claiming a player of his calibre should be performing much better. Do you want to shut your mouth, you ball-headed little That'll have to be bleeped as well. Tensions are high. Right, it's do or die, boys. It's time. It's do or die. We have to do the business. If we can beat Bradford, it's on. If we can't beat Bradford, it's over. And it's as simple as that. They've got James Vaughan up front, but this guy's the one to look out for. He's on loan from Leeds, and I'm aware of him. Kun Temenoskov. I'm pretty sure he scored against us this year. 5-17. and 17. He's probably one of them was against us. Um, anybody else to look out for? I hope he's not divine in midfield. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing a. I'm not doing a total interview, mate. There's too much pressure. There's too much pressure. We have to keep an eye on all these people. It's nil nil everywhere so far. Things are gonna change. Cheltenham are beating Salf Salford, but that doesn't bother us. Scunthorpe are beating Morecambe, that doesn't bother us. Colchester are beating Forest Green, that matters. That matters. We still have to do the business though. And Bradford have a throw. Pat O'Connor, I'm assuming. Vaughan Gribbons won it. Here we go, boys. Gavea, Gavea, Gavea. Okay, Zamborek. Bates. We are away from home, by the way. Gribben in towards Lavery. He's not quite going to get there. Not a bad idea from um, Callum Gribben. Over the top towards Vaughan. Defensively, we're not great. James Vaughan. Shot well wide. I've not played Kelleher. I've not played the captain. He's on the bench. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Devine's picked up a knock. We could say that's... that's Good for us. What do you think I was going to say? Cambridge are drawing with crew. That's good for us as well. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what's happening. Forest Green are level. That's why they're on 70. And all of a sudden... Uh, I'm actually going to pull that in a little bit. Forest Green are now winning. Are you joking me? Get out. Forest Green are going to screw us here and grab that last position, aren't they? Stevenage are beating Carlisle 2-0. Oh, it's all going to plan apart from Forest Green. And now Grimsby. Grimsby are winning again, I'm pretty sure. Temeneskov. Temeneskov's in again. Oh, it's saved. Forest Green have got up to 72 points, and now they've gone back down again, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Woods. It's all, it's all them. That's been coming. Anthony O'Connor. I'm on positive. I don't really know what else I can do. It was all them. Cameron Norman's playing. What am I playing Cameron Norman for? Why have I played the same team? What have I done? They've dominated us in this first half. They absolutely smashed us. But the second half was when we played well last time. And I'm going to say you've been unlucky so far. Keep going. It could come out in our favour. 
and I'm going to make a radical change. And I'm going to make it change that, you know what? That looks bizarre. That, that's, well, that's mental. That is mental. But you know what? We're doing it. I'm not confident it's coming. I'm really not confident it's coming. We need two. We need two. Oh, here we go. Here we go. O'Donnell, it's theirs. What am I on about? It's theirs. We need to win it. Zach Jules. Zach Jules. Kaylin Lavery. Go, son. He's not, he's not gone. He's not gone. He's not gone. O'Donnell. Sam Brex won it. Surely not. Surely not. Gavea, find a cross. Kinsella. Gavea, find a cross. Gavea. Gavea. Hakim Fenner was in there. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. I'm not even looking. I've got my eyes closed. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see a Bradford goal. I'm going to open in three, two, one. Okay, it weren't a goal. But it doesn't matter. It's over. The playoff hopes are over. I actually believed. I actually believed. It was unlikely, wasn't it? You know, we've made a big fist of it. We've made a big fist of it. Considering where we were in January. To, to come back to, to this position. To be just... Just a win. A win away from the playoffs. And actually, I think it is exactly a win. It's mental. Alfie Bates. Alfie Bates. Where are you going? Alfie Bates! Oh! Well, we're going to get a point, though. We're going to get a point. Is that the long ball over the defence that did that as well? Liam Roberts has got himself an assist there. And Alfie Bates has scored 2-2 two and two to end the season. What a man. What a man. I don't know where we've got a point out of this. We've been dominated, really, against the team that are, are League One level now. It's over. We haven't made the playoffs. Two points off. But we did more or less everything we did, everything we could. If we'd have beaten Grimsby, if we'd have beaten Grimsby, we'd be in the playoffs. <laughs> but I said, like, some certain players have to prove they should be here next year. Alfie Bates definitely has. But people like Liam Kinsella is, is a valuable player to the team at 6.8. He's come on and done quite well. Zach Jules, actually, you know what? He's done quite well. 22, someone we can actually try and build up. So that's that then, ladies and gentlemen, the end of the first season and... It's been a season with ups and downs and everything you could ever ask for, really. League 2, we are coming for you next year. I am having an automatic promotion place. That's what I want. That's what I'm telling you right now. That is what I want. I think with the right couple of transfers, they'd have to be permanent transfers as well because we've got five low knees. So it would have to be a permanent signing, well, a couple of permanent signings to really improve the squad. I think we can aim for third. I think we've shown that... If we can put a good run together and and, and with the, the improved squad we've had since January, we are good enough to get that position. Let's hope we can. Until next time, and what will be a new season, a new team after a summer transfer window. Peace.